In this video we're going to look at writing to files. Now I have created a new file here, I called it my list, and when we open that file up you can see that there's nothing there. Um, so we're going to write some code to access that and to write to it. So we'll start how we've been starting in all of this, these videos for the series. Um, we're going to set up a variable and we're going to open the file and this particular one is called my list and in this case we're not just reading to the file we're writing to the file so we're going to do a W. Now I've set up this little notepad to help you out with this so if you look at this up until this point we've been using read for R but we also have the ability to read and write which is R plus we can write only we can write and read so open in the file for reading and writing we can append only which is A and we can append and read which is A plus so let's continue with this we've got write and then we're going to we're going to write to the airplanes list and let's just for now let's hard code this and say we'll hard code it with Piper Arrow and when we run that we come over to my list forgot one thing we've got to for our airplanes list we need to close it and then we'll run that go to my list and we can see Piper Arrow 2 which is what we wrote and this again this just closes that list so that we can open it up and, and look at it um, we're gonna run this again so I'm gonna run it again and what we're going to notice is there's still only one Piper Arrow 2 because what happened when we do this we'll take out the 2 run it it's going to overwrite whatever we put in there so this time it's just Piper Arrow there is nothing else in here so it's not continually writing to the bottom of the list like we would expect a ray to do let's say um, this instance it's actually overwriting the list every single time we write it so that's not exactly what we want most of the time. Now if you were going to use this list just for let's say um, something non some non-secure username or, or some variable that we're going to call back again uh, that might work. But if we want to create a list with this uh, we need to do this another way. So let's get rid of this airplanes close and we're going to actually let's put that back real quick let's look at this way first so if we change this W from write to append and we'll change that back to arrow 2 and we run this we can see we've got Piper Arrow and Piper Arrow 2 so it appended the list so that's one way we can continually write to a list. Now we notice that that's all on one line which may or may not be what we want to do so if we want to drop it down a line we'll just simply do backslash in, we'll run that, come back over to my list and we're actually gonna have to change this to append A and we can see with that append, excuse me, not append A, append plus that got us to be able to write to this new line. So let's clean this up a little bit. Get rid of all of that. So where we're at now is we have append plus and each time we run that we'll run it about three times we can see we have three different lines in here 
that's because of this slash n is dropping down a line every time it writes to this. So another way we could do this, if we want to use this with input, I'm going to get rid of airplanes closed. We're going to add it to the bottom of this in just a minute. Let's write a for loop. So for plane in range three. So we're going to loop through this three times. We're going to set a variable up to hold our input and enter a, an airplane and we're going to write this to our airplane list right and we're going to do a so we're writing whatever is in this variable a here and then we also want to add this slash n so it writes it to a new line and then don't forget to close your list out excuse me your file so we'll close that file out and it's going to cycle through this it's going to open up the file it's going to write another arrow to n remember we only have three in there right now um, then it's going to cycle through this three times asking us to enter an airplane name three times and then it's going to close the file. So we'll run through this. Okay, so it should have already put in the Piper Arrow 2 again. Then we're going to enter airplane. I'm just going to put uh, numbers in here so we can see what's happening. 2 and 3. And it stops because it's cycled through this three times. When we come over to my list again, we see it added another Piper arrow and then one, two, and three. So it cycled through this. It's put each of our names that we inputted in here and then it closed out the file.